Rupi Abanda was back in court, flanked by supporters. He's accused of abuse of office over an allegedly corrupt, multi-million dollar oil deal with a Nigerian company. On Monday, the magistrate upheld the charge, which means the case will go to trial. Before his appearance in court, Banda told me it's a witch hunt. I have not de denied them that right to investigate, but I think that the whole thing is selective. If you notice what is happening to me is what is happening to all my other colleagues who were with me in government, starting with the ministers, various ministers, and permanent secretaries, and all the people that held key positions in my administration are all being dragged to courts. Two years ago, Banda lost the presidency to Michael Sutter, who campaigned on an anti-corruption platform. The government rejects Banda's accusation he's being persecuted. Transparency International also supports the charges. Yeah, we did indicate on a number of occasions that uh, some of the behavior that he, his government and himself exhibited uh, might land him in problems in future. And here we are today uh, that uh, he's facing all these corruption uh, uh, charges, uh, which even to himself, they've not come as a surprise. Banda has been in and out of court several times since his immunity from prosecution was lifted last month. On top of this allegedly corrupt Nigerian oil deal, he's also accused of corruptly receiving 10 trucks from a Chinese company which he used during campaigning. But he is arguing the immunity was wrongfully lifted in the first place. President Sata is really seen in public, leading to persistent rumours about his health. One political analyst told me the corruption charges could be motivated by fears over succession. It gives us the impression that perhaps they are either preparing for something that we may not be aware of, and, and clearly what they are doing to, uh, to, pre to former President Banda would seem to suggest that they are worried that he might be a threat. Banda's due back in court soon for what he calls persecution, but the government calls justice. Tanya Page, Al Jazeera, Lusaka, Zambia.